competitive Pokemon lore. Last lore video, I discussed a glitch discovered in Ultra Sun and Moon that caused moves like the move Curse to create a double game freeze. In this instance, it was pretty obvious that a serious error had occurred in the game, but what if it was a bit more ambiguous if something was intended by the developers or not? Well, in Gen 7, Z-moves were added, and some players didn't like that you needed to not only call which Pokemon on the team had the Z-move, but on which turn the opponent would choose to use it. In non-best of three situations like the online ladder, it could be frustrating at times, especially in the early metagame. Well, in Ultra Sun and Moon, upon release, some players noticed something huge. If a Pokemon were to click a wide guard on the turn Z-move came out, it would not only decrease damage for itself, but also its partner if the opponent decided to click a Z-move. The damage would be reduced by the same amount as though the partner or the Pokemon itself were to click protect on that turn. This was a very interesting way to not only buff wide guard, but also make Z-moves a bit less unpredictable. Many players on release believed this to be an intentional mechanic and praised the decision by Game Freak to implement this mid generation, but there was an issue. It was a glitch. Apparently this was not an intended effect and Wideguard was set to remain unchanged from the original Sun and Moon into the Ultra games. And while the glitch only lasted a short amount of time in the game, a lot of players wish it had not been patched at all. Once again, I encourage you to check out videos made by the Wobblefett around this time, as he was and pretty much still is the authority on weird mechanics and glitches in VGC. He's got a great channel, which I'll link in the description down below. If you learned anything new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as I bring you daily VGC content, and be sure to check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.